Hey guys! Today I've got another holster to show you, but first I want to start off by saying, aside from the fact that I do just like sharing my opinions on what does and doesn't work for me, the main reason that I show so many different holsters on my channel is because not every holster works for every situation, and not every holster is going to work for each person. Depending on things like your body type, the style of clothes you choose to wear, your carry position, and even what holster material you prefer, different holsters are obviously just going to appeal to different people. So as much as I personally tend to gravitate towards Kydex holsters, some people really prefer leather, and even though I tend to conceal carry inside my waistband most of the time, there are still times that I prefer on the waistband carry. So. As you can see here, honestly, I have more holsters than I have shoes or even jewelry. Partly because I do have a lot of guns, but also just because I like options. So I'm going to keep showing different holsters that I've used for different guns. And this video is to show another holster that I do have and like and recommend, which is this one from High Noon Holsters. Now when the M&P Shield first came out, not that many companies were making holsters for it right away. The Smith & Wesson website did list a few companies making shield holsters like Galco, Phobus, and Uncle Mike's, but they weren't exactly what I was looking for, so I did a bit more searching. I went with PJ Holsters for In the Waistband Kydex, and I went with High Noon for On the Waistband Leather. I got the M&P Shield shortly after it was released, and I got this holster from High Noon right when I got my shield. So, High Noon is a company that was on the ball and making holsters for the shield right when it came out. This is an on the waistband slide on belt holster made of leather and it's got an open top design but this is just one of the many styles of holsters that High Noon offers. I'll link to this specific one down in the description box but if you go to highnoonholsters.com and click on product line you'll see that they have tons of different holster options. It's actually a little overwhelming, <laughs> but at least they have a lot to choose from. Some are stocked and ready to ship, and others are custom made after you order, but they're all made in the USA, which is great, and they're actually made in Florida. I really do like having this holster as another carry option for my shield, and I wear it mostly at home, where I don't need to carry in the waistband to keep my gun concealed. Plus, on the waistband is more comfortable anyway for me if I'm wearing pants that are feeling especially tight. And even though this is an on the waistband holster, this particular model has a very high ride height, which I love because it also works great for concealment underneath a jacket or a hoodie. If you'll notice here where your belt goes across, there isn't very much holster material below that. So it doesn't take a very long cover garment to cover the entire holster and the gun, which is really nice. This one comes with a 15 degree forward cant, which is good for roughly the four o'clock position. And that's where I prefer to carry my handgun. Um, this is also the lined version, which I'll try to show you here. It looks really nice because it's got stitching all the way around it and their site also says that it protects your gun's finish a little bit more. And this holster is also very slim and not bulky at all. And that means it lays very well against my body. This holster did have a super tight fit with my shield when I first got it, so I didn't actually use this holster right away. Partially I think I've just been spoiled with using Kydex so much because Kydex is such a nice crisp draw and reholster that doesn't require any sort of break-in period. But eventually I did use some tips on the High Noon website, like putting my shield inside the plastic bag that it came in and then working it around inside the holster for a while. And that actually did a really nice job of loosening this up just a little bit to make the fit better. 
There is also a tension screw here, which is nice for additional adjustment of your draw. And I did actually try two other holsters from High Noon that I ended up returning. Those were the in the waistband down under and the on waistband bottom line. Um, so sometimes you do have to go through a few holsters to see what will work best for you. They were really nice holsters. I just had trouble loosening them up enough for my shield and they were bulkier than this one so I just couldn't get them to conceal on me at all. But the guys at High Noon were really helpful and I agreed with what they said to me jokingly in an email that was kind of funny. They said holsters do not conceal guns, they make them bigger. So for me with not much body real estate to work with and fairly fitted clothing, the smaller the holster I can find, the better. And this version that they make is a really nice size for me, especially considering it's an on the waistband holster and on the waistband holsters are always gonna be a little bit harder to conceal than in the waistband holsters. Here I'll show you guys what the holster looks like on. With a cover garment, you can see it conceals very well. And my cover garment just has to come to right here, right where my belt line is, to cover. And this is how the gun lines up with my body in this holster. As you can see, it lines up very well. Really quick, I just want to give you guys some things to think about in terms of leather versus Kydex, since they're both nice for different reasons. Leather can loosen over time and lose its form, whereas Kydex retains its shape. Leather is soft and quiet to draw and reholster, whereas Kydex is loud and your gun snaps in and out. Leather is less abrasive, but it may wear your gun's finish over time, um, and some Kydex can scratch your gun. Leather can absorb moisture, whereas Kydex doesn't, so leather holsters may require extra care. I personally really like the look and the feel of leather, but I like reholstering into Kydex better, and I like that Kydex never requires a break in period. So. I have both leather and Kydex holsters that I like for different guns, and at least for my m and shield, I can say that this particular on the waistband holster is a great all-purpose one for me at home, and also for concealed carry underneath a cover garment if my pants aren't feeling comfortable for in the waistband carry. So I'll put a link to their site below this video in case you want to check out their wide selection of holsters, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!